Okay. The first time I really got stoned, like actually took a joint, put it to my mouth, I was 13, and I did it to impress a girl. Her name was, let's just call her Maria, to protect her fucking identity. This bitch was a bad news. And I was her best friend. And she had a small little Arabian horse that we used to ride every day to the nearest store to pack up on cigarettes and Boone's Farm. Okay? <laughs> and the nearest store was four miles one way. So her little horse was getting tuckered out. I mean, I'm a big girl, he was a little horse, and she was a little girl, but still, like four miles, one direction. So I begged my parents, please, can I please get a horse of my own? Now, I was 13, but I had straight A's, I was trustworthy. I had never made a B in my life, never have made a B in my life. I had two jobs. I worked as a busboy at a yacht club and on the side of the road at a fireworks stand. And uh, I had never done anything wrong. My brother, Kyle, on the other hand, never had a job, flunked sixth grade, got suspended from the bus and school, and he still got a shotgun and a water bed. What the fuck? That's not fair. That's not fair. Right? So I got the horse. My parents were like, all right, all right, fine. So they went to the horse auction, and they bid on a horse named Charlie Brown, and they got him for 400 bucks. Now, just in case you're like, all right, seriously, you got a horse when you were 13? You must have been richer, like, making this up for the book. No, no, no. This is the woods. Think Peru or Mexico. You just get a horse, you throw a towel on it, Riding crops and steeple chases and shit like that. No, no, no. Horse, he's there for the manure, to eat the grass, and to take me to go get some booze bar. <laughs>
He ate it all! <laughs> My brother had been growing giant stalks of marijuana behind the shed, and Charlie Brown had chomped off the tops of each and every one. Charlie Brown was a bait. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.